This is an ESG video capsule. IT insights in 140 seconds or less. I've called this short piece Driving Infrastructure Value. There's an obvious and often used, certainly I use it a lot, analogy between cars and data centers. Simply it boils down to the fact that for decades now, data centers have essentially been building cars. It's not carburetors and engines and windshield wipers, it's storage and networking and fiber channel or whatever, but essentially taking all the components and building a data center or a car. Pretty obvious analogy. But lately I've been thinking the analogy can be extended in two particular ways that I think are very interesting. First is that, of course, it's not just a choice between building or buying a car or a data center anymore. If you think of it from the transport perspective, you could build a car, you really could you could buy a car, but now you have other options. There are smart cars in cities with fractional ownership. There is the Uber, there's the taxi, there's the lease, there's the straightforward rental. And you will see gradually over the next few years, increasingly you'll see all those options for IT data centers as well. So infrastructure is not just build or buy, but all sorts of options in between in terms of how you procure, deploy and pay for it. The other thing that's really interesting and just a, a, a fascinating switch of the industry. If you look back over the last few decades, it was really only the specialists that bought complete systems. They would contract for some weather prediction system or some HPC. It might still be built for them, but it was a specialist thing where you bought the whole system. Increasingly, as we look ahead, regular people will be buying their IT in some hybrid, cloudy, chunky, converged fashion. And now it's only the specialists that will be building their own, the Facebooks and Googles, who will be taking all those components and building their own super transports.